An Estonian women's team was invited to participate in the Women's Metropolitan Trophy, a six-a-side softball tournament organised by Cricket Finland and played at their national cricket ground, Kerava. There were four teams in total. In round one, Estonia was up against Play Cricket Suomi 1. Estonian captain Anna-Marie Vesic won the toss and elected to bowl. And it was the skipper who got the first wicket. In the second over, thanks to a brilliant one-handed catch by wicketkeeper Ragna Halik off an inside edge. The team produced good tight overs, restricting PCS 1, especially Natali Takhonrovova, who only went for four runs off her one over. But it was the captain who led from the front, taking a great court and bold in her second over and following it up with a direct hit for a run out. PCS 1 ended up with 39 for 3 off their 6 overs. The chase was fairly easy due to most of the PCS 1 bowlers bowling 30 wides. Janneke Horn and Anna Marie didn't get much of a chance to bat as a result, but it was a risk free partnership and both batters finished not out and scored the runs in 5.3 overs. In round two, we played PCS2. This time we lost the toss, but still got to bowl first as planned. None of the bowlers managed to pick up any wickets, and there were a few more wides and no balls in, in the first game. But the fielding was still excellent. Surly Pattenden executed a direct hit run out, and then she and Janneke Horn combined for another one. Anna Marie, none for one from one over, Janneke none from, for ten from two overs, and Amy Nicole Pattenden, none for four from one over, were the most economical of the bowlers. PCS2 scored 38 for 2 from 6 overs. In response, Ragnar Halek and Janneke Horn opened the batting. Again, most of the runs came from extras, 22 wides and 8 no balls. Ragnar scored 6 not out from 9, including a 4. Janneke was caught behind for 2 from 6. And Natali scored 1 not out from 1 ball faced. Estonia won by 4 wickets with 1.5 overs remaining. The win meant that we were in the final and would have a rematch against PCS1. Their star player, Devija Unhala, had been getting better and better as the day went on, picking up a hat-trick in the previous game as well as being the leading run scorer. We lost the toss and this time we sent in to bat first. Anna Marie and Ragna opened the batting. They started off well, Ragna scoring an early four and the opposition assisting with a few wides. However, a long day was starting to have its effect and fatigue was becoming a factor preventing the batters from being able to hit as well as they can. But they never gave up and kept running well between the wickets. Ragnar was caught off a free hit and nearly got herself run out as a result of her pausing in mid-wicket, but both ended up not out with a total of 45. The PCS1 opening pair batted intelligently and unfortunately we were unable to dismiss either of them. They were able to find the gaps and score reg regular boundaries and managed to chase the runs down with an over to spare. Janneke Horn was the most economical of the bowlers with none for six from one. Lima Anna Dalbina bravely bowled two overs despite a thigh strain she picked up in the first game. And the whole team played their hearts out and did so with a fantastic spirit. <laughs> all right, uh, massive, massive thanks to all of you for being here today. Uh, special thanks to Estonia for coming and visiting us.
like to come over, aren't we? Yes. 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 Okay. And then finally for the very exciting final, and of course the runners up, well done, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing second in the tournament was a great result for a team that was playing in its first games together, with a number of, number of players who only started playing cricket less than two years ago. They played as a team, supporting each other at all times, and showed excellent spirit and respect to their opponents and the umpires. The Estonian team bowled the least number of wides in the tournament and only lost one wicket all day. They were the only team to not have a batter run out, thanks to their excellent communication between batting partners and were the best team fielding. With Surly Pattenden being rated the second best fielder in the tournament and Anna Marie the bowler with the best economy and strike rate. Most importantly, the whole squad had fun, supported each other throughout and learnt a lot. A big thanks to Kevin Pattenden for driving the bus and to Maya and all from Cricket Finland for their wonderful hospitality.